Dynamic Island is an innovative UI design on iPhone, but sometimes it just stops working and not showing anything. Here in this video, I'll show you five methods to fix the Dynamic Island not working issues. Before we start, it's important to know that not all apps support Dynamic Island, and even if they do, they may not have live activities at all times. So the first step is actually to check whether the app you're using supports Dynamic Island. Let's move on. If you find a specific app not working well on Dynamic Island, you can go to App Store and check for any available updates for this app. Low power mode can impact Dynamic Island's performance by limiting live activity updates. Ensure your iPhone is in low power mode. View the battery icon from the top right corner of your phone screen. If it's yellow, tap it to turn off low power mode. Occasionally, your iPhone may become unresponsive. In such cases, a simple restart can work magically. Press and hold the power button and either of the volume buttons simultaneously to turn off your iPhone. But be cautious with this method. If you were working on some video or file, a restart may result in data loss. If this horrible situation happens, you can use Phone Ply Phone Data Recovery to help you recover deleted video, photos, and files from iPhone without a backup. If restarting your iPhone doesn't resolve the issue, you should check the Dynamic Island settings. Go to Settings, scroll down to find the app that's experiencing Dynamic Island problems, and tap Live Activities. Ensure Allow Live Activities is enabled. In Settings, select Notifications and find the app in question. Make sure to toggle Allow Notifications to enable Dynamic Island notifications. By following these five simple fixes, you can resolve common Dynamic Island issues. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more useful iPhone tips and tricks.